Nasato bidati bhavo na bhavo bidati sata vayur vidrishta anta tanayu sato dasi vi. So we are discussing about the soul and the body for the last four days. <clears throat> now it is being concluded, not concluded, further uh, in form, the tattva darsi vi. Tattva means the absolute truth. Or I am asking information the tattva darsi vi or certainly the absolute truth. Who has seen the absolute truth? They are called Tattadarshi. <clears throat> the Tatta means the absolute truth, the spirit whole. The spirit whole is realized in three features. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Madanti Tattavidas Tatyam. Those who are actually realized of the absolute truth, they say uh, that the absolute truth is realized in three features. The Brahmeti Bhagavaniti Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Sabda. Absolute truth is realized in three features Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Brahma is the impersonal feature, Paramatma is the localized feature, and Bhagavan is the personal feature. Brahman is the aspect of impersonal, Paramatma is the aspect of local isadha, the Bhagavan is the aspect of personal. <coughs> so, uh, in the first stage, just like the example we have given many times, that the sun sign, sun glow, and the sun god. We are, uh, we are, every one of us experience what is sun sign. That means the sun. The sun sign and sun glow, a uh, sun glow, 
the sun sign and sun god, although it is one, the sun sign portion we can easily understand. But nobody of us has gone to the sun globe. Therefore, there cannot be any direct perception of the sun globe. Rather, if we attempt to go to the sun globe, on the way we shall be finished. But the sun globe is not different from the sun sign. And still, the sun sign is not the sun globe. Being in the sun sign, you cannot say that you have seen the sun globe. You can simply understand that it is of the same quality. Namely, as the sun sign has light and heat, the sun globe has also light and heat. So although the quality is the same, the quantity is different. The temperature in the sun globe is very, very high. <coughs> Similarly, tattva, the absolute truth, the first realization is impersonal Brahma. That can be realized by uh, ordinary man. Not ordinary man, a little advanced, can understand what is the sun sign. But to, ex- to have experience of the sun sign, we can put some theories, but directly it cannot be experienced. So, again, within the sun globe, there is the predominating deity, sun god. Actually, the heat and light is coming from the body of the sun god. <coughs> so those who are uh, expert in studying the sun, uh, the sun god, the sun glow, and the sun sign, uh, this is an example. Similarly, uh, there is possibility of understanding God, His Paramatma feature, all-pervading feature, as well as his Brahma feature. <laughs> so here it is said that na asata vidyati bhava. Asata means that which does not uh, exist forever. Just like our this body, it will not exist forever. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows that this body will be finished. Uh, and to finish the body, Suppose if somebody comes immediately with some weapon and if he says, I shall finish your body. So immediately we shall be facing some danger. 
But it is known to us that this body will be finished. That means the danger is ahead. I may meet the danger today or tomorrow or hundred years after, the danger is awaiting. So what we are going to stop the danger? That is intelligence. A cat and dog and animal cannot protect them from the danger of death. But a human being, they also try to, animals, they also try to save themselves from danger, but they cannot do very nicely. But a human being tries and can stop. So every intelligent person should know that the danger is there. I do not want that danger. Then how to stop it? That is intelligence. So if we do not try to stop the danger, then we are not better than the animal. So if you want to stop the danger of death, then you have to understand what is that absolute truth. Just like I have given already the example of sun sign. If you come to the sun sign, there is no darkness. But if you keep yourself within a closed door, do not like to see the sun sign, that is your own choice. So everyone should try to come to the light. That is Vedic injunction, tamasi ma jyotit dhamma means do not remain in darkness, come to the light. Light means knowledge and darkness means ignorance. So every one of us now in the ignorance that we do not know what I am. Everyone is in darkness in the concept of body. Ask anyone what you are, he'll say, I am this body, I am Mr. Such and Such, I am Indian, I am American. This is all bodily description. And we have already discussed this body is temporary, but I, the spirit soul, am permanent. I have already experienced that I had my childhood body, I had my babyhood body, I had my boyhood body, youthhood body. I know it. Uh, but the bodies are no more existing, but I am existing. So therefore I am permanent and the body is not permanent. Therefore it is said, nasato viddati bhava. Permanency is not there in the body. Nābhāva viddhati sata, and there is no, uh, I mean, say, annihilation of the permanent or the eternal. Uh, so this is, Krishna, although he is the authority, still he says that 
ಉಭಯರಪಿ ದಿಷ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಸ್ತನಾಯು ತತ್ವತರ್ಜಿ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಸೇಜ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ತತ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ದಿ ನೋ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಸುಲೂಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದೇ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ the purpose is that we have to accept the experience of the tattvadarshi of the seer of the absolute truth that is knowledge our knowledge is imperfect because our senses are imperfect therefore we do not come to the right knowledge by exercising our senses the idea is that we should accept the statement of krishna and the shastra that we or i or you we are spirit soul we are permanent and the body is not permanent but we should be uh, intelligent enough how we can get the condition of permanence that is possible when you or i we come to the platform of eternity hmm. that is uh, explained in another another place of simad bhagavad gita bahavo gyana tapasa puta madhavam adigachadi like that uh, means that many person by cultivating knowledge and tapasa gyana tapasa uh, puta become purified uh, they have got the uh, same status like me the same status means god is eternal god is full of knowledge and god is full of bliss so we are all part and parcel of god we are part and parcel of god therefore we have got the same quality just like a particle of gold has got the same quality as the big gold at the small drop of sea water has got the same chemical composition as the large mass water the god is sachidananda vigraha eternal full of bliss and knowledge we can also attain that stage by purifying ourselves that purificatory process is stated as gyana tapasa means knowledge and austerity we can come to the real knowledge of our existence by purifying ourselves uh, the purificatory process we are introducing in by this krishna consciousness movement and the method is very simple chanting hare krishna mantra the more you chant this maha mantra or the transcendental vibration hare krishna you become purified once 
then you can't understand what you are. Then every one of us, we can understand that I am not this body, I am not American, I am not Indian, I am not Mexican, I am spirit soul. This stage is called Brahma, Brahma Bhuta. Means self realization. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma means as soon as you are self realized, you become jubilant. In the bodily concept of life, we are always full of anxiety and morose. Yes. That is the material condition. But as soon as you realize yourself that you are not this body, you are different from this body, you become jubilant. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. This is means as soon as one is self realized, immediately he becomes happy, jubilant. And what is the symptom of becoming jubilant? That is also stated no sochati, no kankati. He does not hanker after anything. Neither he laments for any loss. In the material condition, we are in the platform of lamentation and hankering. Everyone is trying to possess something which he does not possess, and everyone is lamenting after losing his position. These are the condition of the materialistic person. So Brahma realization or self realization means no longer lamentation, no long no longer hankering. The next stage is Samas Sarveshu Bhuteshu. Means then he become equal uh, to everyone. Uh, he does not treat differently to different living entities uh, because he can see the spirit soul in everyone. He sees everyone on the same equal position. This stage is called uh, the bona fide stage for devotional service. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakankati Samas Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhvakti Labati Para. That is our perfectional stage. Madhvakti Labati Para means to be engaged in the loving service of God. So, for cultivating knowledge, uh, we are uh, opening so many centers. You can take advantage and cultivate knowledge, jnana uh, tapasa, and practice little austerity. Get the knowledge, just like we are discussing in this meeting, it is meant for acquiring knowledge. So we hold meeting at least twice, thrice in every center. So you can also participate and take the knowledge. And if you practice little austerity, then two things, jnana tapasa, you become purified. 
And as soon as you are purified, you understand what you are. And what is God? And what is your relationship with God? And as soon as you know these three things, your life is perfect. Uh, thank you very much. Now we can ask questions. Have you got any understanding of God? Do you know what is God? <coughs> what is that? Some, that means he has no clear idea. You do not know what is God clearly. You say some, this, that, that is not clear idea. So how you can understand the part and parcel of God? If you do not know what is God, how you can understand what is part and parcel of God? That we are preaching, that we are samas sarvesu bhuteshu, see everyone on the equal level and love. That's all. That we have explained that you have to accept another body. And there are eight million four hundred thousand different forms of body. And you will be awarded one of the bodies out of the eight million four hundred thousand. The body is awarded according to your uh, karma or action. They, we are acting in three modes of material nature. Some of them are acting in goodness, some of them are acting in passion, and some of them are acting in ignorance. <coughs> so there are three different modes of activities. <coughs> now when you mix up three, three into three, it becomes nine. And again, if you multiply nine by nine, it becomes eighty-one. So it increases and so subtle division of the mixture of the three qualities. That's like the painter, he knows how to mix the three original color, namely blue, yellow, and red. The red color represents passion. The color rojo represents passion. And the yellow color uh, represents uh, ignorance. The color amarillo represents ignorance. And the blue color represents goodness. The color azul represents bondad. 
So, as the collar painter, uh, painter knows how to make and make varieties of collars, similarly, similarly, the three modes of material nature being mixed up, uh, they are represented in so many different forms of body. So at the present moment, in your human form of body, you are also mixing the same qualities in your defined desires. That means you are creating your next body. So at the time of death, the thoughts and the activities which will be prominent within your mind, you will get a similar body next life. Therefore, the intelligent man should be very cautious to uh, get the next uh, body. We can get the body like God, we can be, get the body like the dog. Therefore, the best intelligent person should try to endeavor to get the next body like God. That is Krishna consciousness movement that you uh, endeavor in this life, so long you are alive, to get a body like God. That will solve your all problems, namely birth, death, old age, and disease. No, we, what he is speaking first of all. What is the difference between God and ourselves, and what is the relationship? And God is great, we are small. Otherwise, we the same. God is also living entity, you are also living entity. God is eternal, you are also eternal. God is full of bliss, you are also full of bliss. So, quality, there is no difference. Only difference is quantity. Just like a drop of sea water, it is salty. So this means in the drop there is salt. But the quantity of the salt in the drop is not equal to the quantity of the salt in the vast water. And there is another example, just like the big fire and the sparks of the fire. The spark of the fire, when it falls on your cloth, a point like space, it can burn. But the big fire can burn the whole building. So the quality of God is in every one of us. We may take as a small God, that's all. But uh, the power is defined. God can create a planet like the sun which is floating in the air, and you can create a small airplane floating in the air. Mm-hmm. 
God can create a mosquito which has got the same construction like the aeroplane, but you cannot do it. That is the difference between God and you. You can create, He can create, but His creation and your creation is not equal. Who put this question? What is the difference between God and us? Uh, you put what is it? That you can understand what is the relation between big and small. The big is the master and the small is the servant. That's all. If somebody is big, a big merchant, big factory owner, you go to serve him. So that relation is very uh, I mean, clear that the master, the big is the master and the small is the servant. Therefore our business is to serve God. We are serving, but we are now serving dog. We are taking care of dog, not of God. This is our position. Because we are meant for service, so instead of giving service to God, we are giving service to dog. Therefore we are unhappy. See there. Yes. After taking birth again, how does one continue with spiritual progress? I have two questions. And also, when one is feeling very weak, spirit, uh, fallen, how can he get going spiritually? Um, first of all, uh, the next body may not be for uh, cultivating knowledge in spiritual life because we are already fallen, and if we do not elevate, we may accept another body is still fallen. Therefore, the intelligent person in this human form of life should take to spiritual cultivation of knowledge immediately. Immediately means before another death takes place. Uh, because death will take place, that is certain. So our duty is immediately take to uh, cultivation of spiritual knowledge so that we may get next life uh, either liberation or another opportunity for cultivating spiritual knowledge. So anyone who begins cultivation of spiritual knowledge, he is on the path of perfection. But even if he falls down uh, immaturely, he is guaranteed to get next life a human body. So that he can again begin his cultivation of spiritual knowledge and make his life perfect. Therefore the conclusion is that without delay we should immediately take to spiritual life and try to make our life perfect. Because there is no certainty when our death is coming. That is real intelligence. Mm-hmm. How many births do we 
Birth? There is no counting. Because unless you come to spiritual loyal, the birth and death will continue. Yes. Do we have to liberate ourselves from karma in order to achieve Krishna? Yes. There is karma is the binding. So long our mind is karma conscious, then we have to take another body. Karma is spoken of Atta. Mientras que tengamos karma, tenemos que aceptar otro cuerpo. Therefore, bhakti is defined. Annavilasita sunnam jnana karmat anabritam karma. People are very much enthusiastic to be engaged in karma, fruitive activities. And some of them are very eager to speculative knowledge. And that is called jnana. Therefore bhakti is jnana karma dana abhritam. It must be uncovered by the speculative knowledge and fruitive activities. By karma you are bound up to accept birth and death. By jnana you can be liberated for the time being. But you again fall down. But by bhakti, you are firmly fixed up in your spiritual platform. Are there many universes or only one? Innumerable, you cannot count. Innumerable, no se puede contar. Si hay, si no hay nacimiento en el mundo espiritual, ¿cómo reentramos en el mundo espiritual? This is one of the universes with so many planets, suns, moon, uh, that is stated in the Vedic literature. Just saprabha parvavatu jagadanna koti. Jagadanda means this universe. Uh, it is ball like, anda, egg like. Uh, Jagadanda koti, koti means millions. So all combined together, there is material world. This is only one fourth part of the creation of God. And the three-fourth part is the spiritual world. But do we think of Jesus Christ, Muhammad, Buddha, and other public persons, how many different messages They have got little advanced men, just like Mohammedan. They accept the kingdom of God, and the Buddhists, they say that this material world has to be finished. Buddhists do not give any information of the spiritual world, but they do not like this material world, they want to finish it. So every religious principle is preached according to the candidate, place, and time. Uh, mm -hmm. So if one surpasses these stages, then uh, he can come to the higher stages of spiritual understanding. Yes. 
For a big business. Yes, if there is no right information, it is something like that. <laughs> Religions, we should try to understand what is religion. Religion means the law of God. Just like law means the, uh, I mean, so the rulings given by the state. For example, that is law. Similarly, religion means the rulings given by God. But if one does not know what is God, then how he can accept what is his ruling? Therefore anyone who has got very scanty knowledge of God, that kind of religion is also scanty. That is the definition in the Vedic literature. Dharma to Sakshad Bhagavat Pranitam. Dharma, religion means the codes or the law given by God. And the Bhagavad Gita, the same ruling is given. Law. Sarva Dhanman Paritaja Mami Tang Saranang Braja. You give up all types of man-made religion. You simply surrender unto me. Therefore the conclusion is religion means to surrender to God. So one who is fully surrendered to God is religionist. 